Hi, Anson Garcia here with Verizon, and today we're going to continue this series of Cisco and Teams Slapdown, and we're going to look at notifications today. So let's get right into it. Cisco. How do, the approach on Cisco is basically uh, is on for everything, and then you tune basically from out of the box it's on for everything and you, you can tune down and um, let's take a look at this because we can do off by default and then tune up I like its simplicity so let's take a look at what's here notifications first come in the messages button so let's just uh, we're in a space over here Jack and I'll just write something here Let's go over here and see Liz. Liz is part of that space. Oh, she's in that space. So let's get out of that space real quick and let's just go. Um, let's go somewhere else just so get a better view of what's going on here. Okay, as you saw on your screen over here, there was a banner. It's called a banner. I used to call it a pop-up toast. So we get that banner. We get a, on the messages button, we get a number there. In the teams button, we get a number there. And then also in the teams view, we'll get a number. So I can go to team view and then we see there's a, there's a number there. Now, if I keep on going here, you can see that this number isn't increased. Uh, that's because it's kind of one person doing that particular post if there was other people then that number would increase okay so that's the uh, panel for the teams let's look at what it looks like in the messages button and you can see here we have a little blue nice visual blue uh, dot saying that um, this particular channel has excuse me space has some posts in it and we get the one there also. Let me pull that down. You can see all we have one and unread we have one. Okay. If we had some favorites or mentions or, or something like that over here, we get some something there as well. So let's go back here. Let's go to here and let's just go to here. I like going that way so I know where I'm kind of at, even though the other way does show you um, the kind of the directory structure is what I call it or the space structure so that's how we get notifications or that's how they look like again out of the box so how can we tune those well let's take a look at first let's go up here to our picture here and we go to settings and then we have this notification tab right here now you can see it basically says you can select notifications preferences for your spaces below. Now, this basically is the global setting for notifications. What do you want globally? Uh, do you want all messages to give you a, not a notification? Do you want at mentions only? Or do you want things off by default? And when I say off by default, I mean the hierarchy. This is the, the topmost hierarchy. So if I turn it off here, down in the spaces I can go on but it'll be off for default for all my teams and all my spaces and then I can choose what spaces I want either mentions only or all messages okay let me let me show you and then of course you get the play sounds and and you know what do you want um, what do you want to hear so let's take a look at we'll go to a space now so remember I was up here in settings and notifications just so you see that and now I'm going to go to the space itself you know I can click any space and you see this little button right here I guess that's uh, an I for information I can go to the I for information and I have this other notifications here okay now this is for the particular space and you see it's a little bit different do I want to just take the global setting maybe I had the global setting on out of the box it's on or maybe I had the global setting off and I want this particular channel uh, or space to um, give me all messages. In other words, maybe we had things set as I have lots of spaces and, and there's lots of noise. 
and I rather just shut these things off and then and, uh, I choose what spaces I want notifications on. So I could go here, go to settings, I could say I just want everything off. Uh, but when I, for maps here, this particular, I'm very interested in what's going on there and I want all messages. Okay? And I can save that. Okay? And you can see my little emblem, my little icon here changed as well. Okay? Let me show you that again. Let me go to global, save. If I do that, it says notifications are off. So it's kind of a visual indicator to me. And the reason is because I'm taking the global, which is up here, and it's off. Okay, if I had that on, we go see that again. We see we, we, we have it on there, and then I can turn it off. I, my preference is to have my global settings on the top of the hierarchy off. Okay, and then spaces that I'm a member of, there are certain ones that I want to get notifications and some that I'll just catch up on later. So if that's the case, then I pick the space I want notifications on. There's my visual indicator that things are off. And then I can go in here and, hey, I want it, all the updates on this particular uh, space to come through and give me a, a banner and then the, the num you know, all, all the numbers and things like that. I want some visual indications. So let's see what that looks like. All right, let me just put something here. So I just want to get, give you guys kind of a, an indicator of how things work. We'll do something like that. We'll go over here in Maps, and I'll type some text in there. Okay. Okay. So you see, I didn't get any visual or audio indication. I still, uh, uh, as far as banners, I still get this visual. That something went on um, in there. I didn't get anything here because I'm in that space. Okay, so hopefully that explains a little bit about notifications here. Very simple. Not a lot there. Right? There's not a lot there in Cisco Spark. Uh, some think that's uh, a plus. Some think that's a, a, a minus uh, because you can't fine tune things better. But you got, you know, on for everything and go tune down. We're off for everything and go tune up. Pretty basic. Some people like it, some people don't. So let's shift gears and take a look at our Microsoft um, Teams. Put these away. Let's bring up our Office 365 users. Okay, let's bring up Teams and both of those. And what is going on here? So the approach here, uh, if I could sum it up in Microsoft Teams, is kind of off for everything. So out of the box, remember I said everything's on on Cisco Spark. Out of the box, everything's off for Microsoft Teams, except for at mentions. And I want to take that at mentions a little further here in just a second. But that's, let's take a look at how notifications come in. Okay, let me go to sales. Um, to further, I'm just going to bring in this conversation, the explanation of favorites and following. Okay, because that's not in Cisco Spark, and I think in the um, video that I did for working with teams and spaces, that particular video, I really didn't point this out. So let me give you a definition of what Microsoft calls or what happens with favorites and following. So favorites, think of favorites, and I can favorite... Um, a particular uh, channel. Let's see here, there's some uh, there's some kind of limitations on general. General, you're always kind of a favorite. To in other words, I can always see the general 
channel under teams uh, under my team for example I can't get rid of you don't see I don't see a favorite I can't unmark as a favorite here um, but I can mark this as a favorite that's my little favorite button right there see so favorites think of favorites again as a visual I can either see the channel or I want to see the channel or I don't want to see the channel again um, let's take a look here you see I see all these channels I'm always gonna see general I'm not always gonna see other things I have to actually um, make them favorites now they're favorites by default as they come under this team but I can certainly unfavorite those so I remove from favorites and you can see I can't see that channel anymore I can remove that one from favorites as well and I can see and maybe I have a hundred channels under the marketing team and I only want the uh, general is always going to be there it's always going to be be able to be viewed and then this one I have marked as a favorite because I want to keep up with that one so it's 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 I got to uh, I got to explain favorites before we go any further here and I got to explain following as well and I'll, I'll tell you why if I go to a channel here um, let me under my sales team I'm going to favorite that I'm going to go to my widget sales team and I'm going to say hello I'm going to do a couple things here you see that now you notice over here I don't get any there's nothing telling me that uh, something happened in other visual cues banners or anything like that now if I go to my teams if I go to my sales team I, I see that I'm not the uh, widget sales team is not a favorite so first let's make that a favorite real quick okay and now you see that that team is bold that's my visual indicator okay it's bold again let's go back now we're now we're part of that space or channel let's see if I get anything different okay you see over here no indication that anything's going on in that particular channel the only I the only visual cue I get is it's bold all right on if you go Google this stuff some people don't like that um, because it's not like slack so some people are having difficulty with that um, and at first glance I thought it was uh, I, it wasn't well received by me either but I kind of get after reading a little bit I kind of get where Microsoft is at, what what uh, they're after here so how would I get visual indicators or banners or dings an audio cue or something like that that's where the following comes from so favorites and following they really have this social media interweaved in here a lot of people use social media and these kind of things make sense to some folks so let's go to my widget sales team and I'm gonna go this ellipsis right here ellipses and I'm going to follow this channel okay I can't follow teams but I can follow channels alright so now if I follow that channel now that's a little bit different okay now let me put something in uh, from another user now you see I don't know if you heard that but there's a audio cue and there's a visual banner that comes up as well so that's how the following uh, is kind of interweaved with notifications hopefully you understand that a little bit so let's take a look at um, uh, remember just get this in your head favorites are, are, are things like viewing uh, if I'm a favorite I can unfavorite something I can remove from favorite then I won't see the channel and then following kind of gives me the notifications 
for that channel. Okay? And um, so that's it. Hopefully that gives you a good uh, view of how notifications are quite different. And then there is also, I'll show you one more thing as far as notifications that I didn't show you before. So I can go here and let's go to our notifications here. Since I showed you this on Cisco Spark, let's see it here. Now you can see there's a lot more stuff than Cisco Spark had. Remember Cisco Spark had off or on and at mentions, you know, all or at mentions, um, things like that. So in Microsoft Teams, we have a lot more tuning we can do at the global level. So personal mentions, you can say, hey, I want a banner and an email sent to me. Uh, channel mentions, yeah, let me let me get to that. Let me, if I don't explain that first, you won't get this stuff. So let me explain channel mentions and team mentions. So this is kind of neat. I like this. Let's go to the widget sales team. Okay, we're at the widget sales team. Say there's a hundred teams under sales. But I have some, I'm, I'm in the widget sales team and I want to um, post something that I want all sales teams to look at, to, you know, they want to, I'm going to notify all the, all the channels here. I want this message to get to, I can do an at team and see my teams come up there. So I can do at sales team. Okay, this is the sales team right here. Okay, I can do, you know, I can say something here, and it's gonna it's gonna go to all it, it, everyone in the sales team. Uh, remember, this sales team is is higher on the hierarchy here. Everyone on the sales team that's members of the sales team is gonna get this message and get this indicator. Okay, so what if I want to? do just the whole channel then I'd have to do at and I do channel okay and then I can just do everyone in the channel okay okay and see that popped up over here now Lynn may not be that mean she may not be following that particular channel but under global settings if they are, as I said before, out of the box, channel mentions, team mentions, everyone's going to get those. As long as you don't change this, you can change it to off. But out of the box, if somebody in a channel wants to um, notify the whole team of something, they can. If they want to no notify the whole channel of something, even though people have you know, uh, they're not following, they will get, you know, this message, notification, audio, visual, and things like that. And then we have, you know, chat messages, banner and email, those are back and forth. And then there's co this co uh, concept of if you're familiar with um, an Outlook, you know, in Skype for Business, where they kind of grab the whole uh, chat and kind of bundle it up and put it in a folder. That's kind of what that is, again. This is pretty neat as far as uh, compliance and things like that. This is a pretty good thing because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be put, you can put that on a um, exchange folder, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but, uh, or you can put it on a local folder. And replies to conversations I started. So that's different. Remember in Microsoft, we have threaded conversations. So even though we're not following a channel, if somebody replies back to me, like Anson is not following this channel, so he wouldn't get any indications. But if someone replies back to one of my messages, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get that, even though I'm not following that channel. See, not following. So I usually wouldn't get a message, right? I wouldn't get an indicator over here. Okay, but I do get a message if someone replies back to something that that I said over here. Okay, see how that works? Okay, 
So that wraps up notifications for today. The last thing I have to mention here is kind of recap. And I, I hope, you know, not to sound biased or anything, what, you know, what's the difference uh, between Cisco and Microsoft? Cisco's approach is on for everything out of the box. And then you can quiet it down um, through the use of your space notifications. And it's simple. You know, pretty simple. Some people like that, some people don't. Microsoft's approach, more functionality. The approach is off for everything except for at mentions. And then it's definitely more complex, but better tuning, in my opinion. And then we get the at team and at channel. That's a nice feature. Uh, you'll find on the blogosphere out there that some people are complaining about Microsoft because it's a little difficult to understand. I found it difficult to understand, but once I understood it, I like it. So you got to kind of, you know, weigh the pros and cons. Some organizations are not tech savvy and they want to, just things to work. And it may be difficult for them to understand how to tune their Microsoft Teams to audio and visual cues and banners. Some may be technical or some people have, organizations have great training. Uh, apparatuses and and they, this is nothing to them and uh, some people don't so that's it for today thanks for viewing